Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. everybody it's Alma welcome back to my channel I am making a dessert guys some, so this is something that rarely happens in my world of the kitchen but David does have a sweet tooth guys I am getting ready to start a 30-day challenge and hoping that this will not blow it I am gonna be using the organic stevia blend it has erythritol and stevia so I should be good we'll wait and see anyway the first step to this recipe is melting two ounces of chocolate I am using Baker's unsweetened chocolate, 100% cacao. Check out the macros over here, guys. It's four grams of carbs, three of them being dietary fiber, so one net carb for how much? Two pieces. So I'm gonna be using two, four, six, eight pieces. Of course, this is for an entire recipe. Also, guys, eight, an entire eight ounces of Kerrygold butter. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going. Where is this going? Where are you going? We're going to our plate where we've already started melting our butter and now our chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that melted and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I've got my butter. I actually have cream cheese in there too, as well as the chocolate melting and I'm getting ready to add in the peanut butter. Let me show you what I'm using guys. I got this at Walmart. Actually came with a $2 coupon for my next purchase of anything by Marinatha. And this is no sugar or salt added. Almond butter, creamy, and the carbs were pretty decent on this, guys. Seven grams of carbs, four of those being dietary fiber, so three net carbs. And here are the ingredients. Pretty clean, guys. Again, purchase this at Walmart. All right, guys, so I'm about to measure out one cup, and off to the stove we go. All right, so here is what our mixture looks like, guys. If it looks like it's separating or that the cream cheese hasn't fully melted, don't worry. Right, we're gonna put a blender to this, or if you have an emulsion blender, that will work too. Um, I got this recipe from Mitch. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. And yeah, I'm excited to try it, Mitch. You made it look so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up and we'll be back. Hey guys, so what I've done is in this container, I have added one cup of my organic stevia blend. And guys, one third cup of 100% unsweetened cocoa is about to go in here as well. All right, so I'm gonna mix that around just a wee bit. Let me get this mixed, be right back. So in here again, we have our butter, we have our baker's chocolate, our cream cheese, and our almond butter, along with a quarter teaspoon of almond extract and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And now this will get poured into the dry mixture and we'll start blending away. All right, guys, and now let's dump away. Look at that yumminess. All right, let me get the bowl cleaned up and uh, we'll continue in just a second. All right, guys, so let me tell you for a while, this was looking scary there. It was very granulated looking. And so I went and looked at Mitch's recipe and sure enough, he said, if it doesn't look like it's mixing well, add a little bit of heavy whipping cream and that'll get you to where you need to be. Now he uses an emulsion blender, which really zapped the heck out of this. And I thought about putting this in my um, Ninja, but you know what, I'm, I'm kind of liking the consistency here, guys. I think it's gonna be fine. And what I might do with this, guys, is put this in a Ziploc bag and funnel it into the containers that I'm using, which I will show you momentarily. All right, guys, so here's the containers I'm using. You saw that I got these at my lovely Aldi's. It was, I think, $1.99 each. So I have one sprayed, one not. Gonna figure out which one works. I'm thinking because of the oil content, I really don't need to oil this, but we'll see. And so then I went ahead and just dumped the entire mixture into a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna go ahead, cut this corner off, and we'll go ahead and squeeze it on in. Hi, Daisy. All right, guys, so it's working fairly well. And then when I'm finished with this, I will just go ahead and um, take a knife and just kind of smear it across and see if I can get it leveled out. You get the point. All right guys, so here's basically what I did. I got the chocolate in there and I, then I just kind of took a spatula and evened it out and then after you even it out you're just going to kind of pound it a little bit you know onto your countertop just to kind of get it to settle and where there's low spots i can just add a little bit of more chocolate all right so 
I'm gonna finish this off and then off to the freezer we'll go. Hey guys, it's been two hours and check it out. They're frozen, they're ready. So guys, I went ahead and just went around the edges of this one. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, that looks good. I grab this little piece that fell off and give it a taste. Wow. Mitch. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. Keto with Mitch. Keto with Mitch. Mitch's keto way of eating. I don't know if I told you guys, but I got this recipe from my friend Mitch, who I met when I first started YouTube, and he is also following keto. And wow, Mitch, you didn't lie, buddy. This is good. Let's go ahead and cut through it, see what it looks like. Cut through. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it, guys? Another bite. Mmm. So I think what I would do is actually add the sugar to the chocolate mix on the stove, as well as maybe upwards of a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. See if it can melt that sugar so it's not so granulated. And that would probably be what I would do differently. And this is gonna work out wonderfully. I am gonna tell you that these are really large block so it comes with three six nine twelve fifteen so those 30 pieces and I would consider this piece to be too much for me so I would think that this piece is actually closer to at least two servings maybe three however if you love and miss your chocolate this might be perfect for you don't know I bet this would be perfect for David I'm gonna go ahead and list it as 30 servings and uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. Give it a try. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork fries, pork fries, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Kiss my teeth. <laughs>